comes to managing your type 2 diabetes, you may be advised to manage it through diet and activity alone, or you may be advised to try some medication, which might be able to help you. So the first line medication that is usually offered is something called metformin. Now metformin works by helping you to use your insulin better. It can help with weight loss and it helps stopping the liver producing extra stored sugar and releasing it into your blood. So it's quite a safe medication to take. Lots of people uh, take metformin. And uh, the only thing I would mention is that sometimes people find that they have a quite unpleasant side effect. It can give you a diarrhea. So if you find that you are struggling with digestive issues, you can always go back to your GP surgery and ask to try a slow release formulation because that is available. And some people find that's a bit gentler on the tummy and they find that they are able to tolerate it much better. Sometimes it takes a few weeks to get used to taking a new medication as well. But as I say, if you do find that you can't tolerate it, do please go back to your GP and talk to them about it. Another class of drugs that uh, you may or may not be offered is something called a sulfonylurea. That's glipizide, glyclizide, that sort of thing. And they work by almost sort of squeezing the pancreas metaphorically to produce a little bit more insulin for you. They do come with the side effect, a risk of hypos which is low blood sugar level. So you may need to monitor your blood sugar level through finger prick test every now and then. Another drug, which is not very uh, often used anymore, pioglitazone, so I won't spend too much time on that one. Next up, uh, there's the GLP-1s, and these are delivered via injection. So you can either have a once a week injection or a once a day injection, and they're self-administered. And these ones work by slowing down your uh, digestion and they can help you feel fuller for longer and some people find they're very useful for weight loss. These ones tend to be offered to people who have a larger uh, body mass index so maybe sort of over 30 BMI. Next up we've got DPP4 inhibitors and we've got the SGLT2s. These both work uh, in a slightly different way. A DPP4 inhibitor will again help you feel fuller for longer. An SGLT2 works by helping you wee out more of the sugar. And the final medication which you may be offered is insulin injections. These can be helpful for people with type 2 diabetes, especially if you've got to the stage where you're not producing very much insulin of your own anymore, and they can really help to bring down high blood sugar levels.